The Prime Minister has called for a full investigation into the allegations of war crimes in Sri Lanka. Following last night's Channel 4 documentary, which showed evidence of horrific human rights abuses there, David Cameron said it was important the United Nations looked into the events. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller's report does contain some distressing images. They are some of the most shocking scenes ever shown on Channel 4. Sri Lanka's killing fields. The stomach-churning footage broadcast late last night depicted war in all its depravity, evidence of war crimes, summary executions and the deliberate targeting of civilians by both the Sri Lankan armed forces and the Tamil Tiger rebels they fought. In a matter of weeks, at least 40,000 Tamil civilians were killed. While the Sri Lankan government continues to brand the footage as fake, the British Prime Minister today appeared to be taking it rather more seriously. Will the Prime Minister join me in calling for justice for the Tamil people and for the people who lost their lives? Yeah. Well, I didn't see the documentary, but I understand it was an extremely powerful programme uh, and it refers to some very worrying events that are alleged to have taken place towards the end of, of that campaign. And what the government has said, uh, along with other governments, is that the Sri Lankan government does need this to be investigated and the UN needs this to be investigated and we need to make sure we get to the bottom of what happened and that lessons are learned. The Foreign Office Minister, Alistair Burt, said today that if the Sri Lankan government does not respond, Britain would seek to revisit all options in pursuing a credible investigation into allegations of war crimes. But those options are limited. The pursuit of justice requires the United Nations to act decisively in the face of political resistance from Sri Lanka's powerful allies within the UN. And while the Foreign Office expresses indignation, Channel 4 News has learned that Defence Secretary Liam Fox, a long-time associate of the Sri Lankan president, is to visit Colombo again soon. Last week, Dr Fox addressed a security summit in Singapore where he met Sri Lanka's foreign minister and the head of the Navy. At the summit, Sri Lanka promoted its counterinsurgency strategy. An MOD spokesman here told us Dr Fox did raise human rights issues. The Home Office, meanwhile, still plans to forcibly remove around 40 failed Sri Lankan asylum seekers by plane to Colombo tomorrow. The Home Office says that now the war's over, it's safe for them to return. But there's serious disagreement about this, even within the British government. If you're a Sri Lankan Tamil, memories are fresh and fear is still real. Despite the regime's wish to bury its past, its secrets continue to be exhumed in full view of the now watching world. Jonathan Miller reporting and for a lot more about the Sri Lankan Civil War and a link to last night's programme, go to channel4.com forward slash news.